Welcome, Irwin family. We're so happy to have you here, and you're here for in LA for a very special occasion, celebrating Steve's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. What an incredible honor! It's so yeah. exciting, it's so and, and it's so fun too because it's an opportunity that everyone could share. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not a star expert, I didn't realize that you can say yes at 11:30 in the morning <laughs> on Thursday. You can come to 6320 Hollywood Boulevard and see everything happening. How cool is that? And it's live streaming exclusively as well. So fans who yeah. can't make it will be able to watch and take part. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of fun, too, because it's Steve Starr. It's in front of the Iguana Vintage Clothing How Store. Fitting. The Iguana <laughs> it, the Store. Star, the perfect. stars lined up perfectly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look at that. Exactly. Yeah, it was so wonderful. But we're super excited. We have some beautiful animal friends that will be joining us for the unveiling. And it's just going to be a really beautiful day. It's phenomenal that Dad was such an amazing wildlife warrior. And to have a conservationist on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, that's pretty cool. So he's right near Johnny Cash, and it's just, oh, we're so thrilled. Hey, Rob. Yeah, it's going to be just kind of a, a big celebration. So, because Dad was not only the most amazing and passionate conservationist, but he really was the best dad as well. He was really, really awesome and, and took us everywhere on his travels. So we're really, really lucky and it's all about celebrating everything that Dad loved. So yeah. we're, we're really excited. And we've been, good. we've been working so hard to making it happen. Yeah. We, we got a letter of recommendation from Russell Crowe um, and then our uh, Visit Sunshine Coast Tourism Board mm -hmm. helped to sponsor the star. So yeah. the, it's just people have been wonderful, yeah. it's been so kind yeah. bringing it all together and Steve would have been so proud. Yeah. What was it like having Russell write a letter of recommendation for you? I mean, what an influence and a great friend to have. Mm. Absolutely, and he so sincerely cared about Steve. And, you know, it was nice of him to transfer all of that loyalty and friendship to us as well. And he's kind of been someone who's been there for us through thick and thin. And, you know, we have conservation properties that were in danger of being mined, and yeah. he would stand up publicly and help us with with defending this and just you know a great person and I think when you lose someone the way we did with Steve you discover the best and the worst in human behavior sure. and it's so inspiring when someone steps up and says I'm, I'm here for you yeah. even 11 years down the track Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. what do you think Steve would have thought of this honor I mean I'm sure none of you ever imagine something like this taking place when he first got started you know he he wouldn't have believed it first of all <laughs> and and i think he would have been absolutely excited but you know steve was the person who always said it's not about me it's mm -hmm. about my message and i think when you walk through the stars and you look at all these amazing talented inspirational people there's not a lot of conservationists that are on that beautiful star trail. So I think that's what it would have meant the most to him, mm -hmm. that people are now standing up and saying, you know, we need to get out there and make a difference and encourage people to take a stand and protect wildlife and wild places. Yeah. And he would have been pretty chuffed. Yeah, <laughs> I love that expression. Uh, he blazed a trail in that way for sure. And Bindi, you mentioned before that your dad put animals that aren't necessarily the more traditional cuddly types on the map. You made reptiles cute. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we all love our cute and cuddly animals and it's so special to love our koalas sure. and hedgehogs. But Dad also said, you know, crocodiles and snakes deserve our love and protection as well. Absolutely. So that was what Dad was so amazing with. He just inspired everybody to get involved. He, he reached through your television in your living room to say, look at this crocodile. They're beautiful animals. They deserve our Respect. You know, we don't want, want to see them turn into boots, bags, and belts. Mm. So I think that was what Dad was so good at. And as a little family, we really tried to carry on in his footsteps yeah. and make sure that yeah. everything he worked so hard for lives on forever. So we continue with our work at Wildlife Warriors. So yes. Wildlife Warriors is our nonprofit organization, started back in 2002 by beautiful mum and dad. And we continue to spread the conservation awareness globally.